Ladies, gentlemen, lost gamers, edge lords, and everyone in between, it's Chaos the Fighters back at it again with another video from the lost side of the internet. Now, guys, today is a special request Sonic the Fighters from our boy Xavier. I finally found some reviews for this game. I've been looking high and low to find some Sonic the Fighters gameplay, and I was finally able to to find some reviews and some gameplay so with that being said let's get right into sonic the fighters i'm pretty sure this game is old and people don't like it but i thought it was pretty okay when i played it for xbox 360 arcade as usual guys don't take these review videos seriously it's just a laugh at the game's flaws in a comical satire like manner so don't take it personally it's all for fun with that being said it's time to begin sonic the fighters Let's do it. Alright guys, our first review is from a user named GameCube Lover, which I'm assuming is a is a fan of all things GameCube. <laughs> I am too, because Super Smash Bros. Melee and Resident Evil 4 and Mario Kart Double Dash pretty much made the GameCube. I mean, especially Smash Bros. Melee. Anyway, GameCube Lover gave Sonic the Fighters a 7. And GameCube Lover said, This game is fun and has aged alright. And the new character is good. But the game is only fun for like 15 minutes. Like Sonic Forces, I'm joking. If you're alone, and 25 minutes if you have a friend. Listen, if Sonic the Fighters was a full price triple A title game that was like $60, $70 with expansion packs on top of expansion packs and loot boxes, I'm looking at you, Battlefield 2. If, if, if it was that long, it'll be fine if it costs that much. But Sonic the Fighters is only like $5. So you pretty much get your money's worth. You have like 25 minutes of fun. You beat story mode with everybody and then, you, then you're done with the game. I mean, for $5... Is it worth 25 minutes? I would say so. I would get it. Hell, I did buy it. <laughs> Let's move on, guys. The PlayStation only must be a Sony fanboy. Unless that's what it stands for, PlayStation. Uh, there, was a, there was a guy in our Mario Odyssey video, the first our first review video I ever did. It was His name was PS P, so, Sony Master Race. I don't know what his name was, but he was a PS Sony fanboy. Anyway, he gave Sonic the Fighters a 7, and PS only said, not bad, not good. I can already tell this review is not bad or not good either. Sonic the Fighter, Sonic the Fighters, okay? Get it right. Sonic the Fighters, you're missing an S. Wasn't a good game. Have smooth gameplay, only positive in game. I don't know what's going on, but nothing is positive about what he just said. I can't even read it. Poor performance, like this review. Camera and fighting was significant problem in this game. Low gameplay time also was one problem this game. Um, my boy, PS, please stick to PlayStation reviews because I don't know what you just said about this game. All I saw was low gameplay time, which I can agree with. 25 minutes and you can return the game. <laughs> Alright guys, let's move on to the next review. All right, user Sanctuary Cat, which probably has a sanctuary full of big the cats, gave Sonic the Fighters a four. And Sanctuary Cat said, clunky, dated fighter with Sonic tie-in. The colors are nice and the gameplay is easy to pick up, but it very quickly becomes frustrating due to the lack of control during the fights. That's like with uh, Sonic, the new Sonic game, some of those automatic boost levels, when you don't feel like you're really playing, you don't really have any control, even though I still think it's fun. Sonic Fires is good for a quick thrill, but won't draw you back. I can agree with that. I mean, if it's a crappy game, it's a crappy game, regardless of a Sonic tie-in. You know, it's funny because, guys, movies do this all the time. Movie games, they do, like, a movie tie-in and have a movie game, and 99% of movie games always suck. All right, guys, our last review is from Se Sega Critic 1998. Which I'm assuming that's the year he became a Sonic fan or was born. Sega Critic 1998 gave Sonic the Fighters a 5. 
Sega Critic said, This game is okay, but it all, but the, well, I don't get that sentence. But the thing that ruins it for me is number one, it's so easy until you get to Metal Sonic. And I hear Metal Sonic is overpowered. Number two, the online servers are a ghost town. Well, dude, you're playing like a 30 year old game, or I mean, like, you know, 15, 20 year old game. I mean, come on now. You have to be lucky to find someone, and when you do, they just keep spamming moves over and over again. Which brings me to number three, spamming. Spamming is the number one reason why this game is getting sucky reviews by critics. Or it could be because the game is crap. I'm pretty sure it's because the game sucks. Spamming also makes the game easy but not challenging. Overall, this game's okay, but it's just meh. I'm pretty sure this game was a rust job by Sega. I'm pretty sure they were just having fun using Virtual Fighter's engine because I'm pretty sure Virtual Fighter is Sega, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they just had some fun messing around with the Sonic characters in the Sonic fighting game. But as far as spamming go, Sega Critic, come on, man. We know the game has like three attacks. I think you can punch, kick, punch, punch, kick, and like every character has like a cheap, overpowered move that you keep using over and over again. There's no diversity. So of course, Everyone's going to spam. You can't use anything else. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you only can press one button. The characters only have four moves. <laughs> anyway, let me leave Sega Critic alone, guys. All right, guys. That about wraps up Sonic the Fighters requested by Xavier the Hedgehog. Of course, guys, keep requesting games in the comments below. Definitely try to keep up with the with more recent videos. The more videos you comment on recently, the easier it is for me to see them. Because going back and trying to scroll through 500 comments of older videos is pretty tough. But I can do it with my infinite powers. <laughs> anyway guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel for more edgy and meme jokes. More edgy content. <laughs> bad reviews. And of course, Sonic content and other cool videos I have planned. As usual guys, I'm Chaos. Edge Lord, and I'll see you all in the next video.